Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Volkswagen Polo in our line. This is the beautiful violet color. You gotta check the exterior interior details. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Here's the gorgeous new Polo, uh, violet color. Definitely interesting, stands out. Uh, looks like Joker uh, theme. So tell me in the comments, what do you think about the color option? Uh, here's the key, the camera would focus. Lock, unlock, unlock the cargo. Press for the grasshopper style uh, physical key and you have a little Volkswagen. So of course you can spec the keyless entry, but uh, that's it. Uh, if you lock the car, the mirrors fold. And if you unlock it, they unfold. Now standard. Uh, so let's check the details. Uh, looking at the front of the car, we have a new wide uh, air intake on the bottom, a little bit aggressive part of the sport package. We have this nice uh, black chrome fog lights on the bottom and then on the top we have the connected uh, IQ LED matrix headlights will be our badge so let's uh, come a bit closer now again you can see this color it's a metallic color it just looks really unique uh, IQ LED headlights so now you have the uh, stripe on the bottom and another one on the side the top one turns into a turn signal the other one's your position light. You can see now the car has locked. And then you have the two LED. Actually, this is the lens, one lens. And then you have the projector on the top and you have a little also LED headlight on the bottom. Sparking sensors are integrated on the front. Uh, now you can see the Polo Life for the basic lights. Uh, I've covered this in a separate video, so feel free to check it out. And the beautiful new minimalist R line uh, badge design. I really like this change. And then you have the my favorite LED bar connecting the LED front headlights. Of course, you have the Volkswagen badge. This is the radar, the adaptive cruise control, emergency braking, pedestrians, cyclists, and so on. If we back up a little bit, we can see the really uh, aggressive stance of the Polo. Once again, if I unlock, you can see the mirrors. Uh, unfolded so I really like the new design especially the design language on the polo we have this creases on the hood it just gives it a little bit sporty character and you have this tips on the bottom so this is part of the uh, R line you have the also the skirt uh, we're gonna come ch check the details in the end of the video of course you have the line uh, assist excuse me, lane assist, um, parking ring sensor, have another sensor in the mirror for the incoming traffic. Uh, also details our line badge on the side. And then you can see the different light, this gorgeous color. Uh, new side mirrors design, you have the turn signal, uh, a little bit different. And then you can see the, uh, still facing the driver, there's actual physical a blind spot in inside the mirror uh, and what I like is the black trim so there's no chrome have the little Volkswagen detail on the shiny black v-pillar and another look at the side skirt it just gives it a little bit more character uh, we're gonna come and see the alloys from the other side but you can, you can show it from this side so this these are 215 45 r17 this is uh, diamond cut so you have black and silver combo looks elegant uh, i believe inside is the 1.0 tsi with 110 horsepower or 15. Uh, you have brakes on the rear with the lower engine options you get drum brakes uh, also on the rear we have the tinted uh, windows factory tint we have the new uh, antenna on the polo uh, for better reception, but I think they could have added the uh, shark fin antenna from, uh, let's see, over there on the uh, Tiguan. Now, what's beautiful is this spoiler. It goes slightly upwards. You have this little tips here, uh, like on the uh, brothers from Audi. So nice details. And then we have these new also IQ lights. They're fully LED. They have dynamic turn signals and uh, looks very elegant. Have a little uh, 
cat eyes on the bottom and then we have this still mock-up of the exhaust uh, or the fake exhaust the actual pipe is uh, probably underneath to be honest uh, yeah I can see one on the left now checking the car from this angle looks quite stylish and it's now wider bigger than the previous generation uh, so the car is locked again I think it should detect when I'm approaching but uh, you press the badge I have the polo underneath now and here's the cargo space I think it was something around 351 liters if I'm not mistaken I'm gonna correct myself uh, if I mixed it up so a very spacious accessible hatchback wide opening it's nice and tall on the top we have the emergency triangle so over there you can close from both angles on the top you have a little rubber stopper so it doesn't make noise of course you can remove these if you want to remove the top shelf but it's also very practical because it has this space inside you can put a longer umbrella here it's a nice carpeting and then uh, let's check here so uh, you can knock down the seats 60 40 there's no middle opening but you have two uh, iso fix top tether points uh, over here you have a one light it's a warm light for some reason it's off now but it was on a minute ago you'll have to trust me from that one and you have the grocery hooks on both ends you have tether points over here and over here in the color of the vehicle uh, unfortunately there is no 12 volt outlet on the rear there is a little space here on the left side unlike on the right where it's closed and if we check here we have maybe height of four fingers so excuse me uh, and then you could lower this down and then you would get um, well extra another four fingers so that's like eight fingers of height you can see now you can uh, maximize the space in this way or uh, if this is up like that you can push it over here so these stoppers hold the uh, bottom shelf so you can access stuff on the rear front carpets that haven't been opened installed inside the cabin but uh, it's no problem and over here you can see the spare tire uh, Volkswagen decided to I guess reintroduce the spare tire kit uh, because it's just more practical rather than having a patching kit to be honest So that's a thumbs up for that idea Let's close it up. Uh, I want to thank Porsche Inter Porsche Inter Auto so Porsche Inter Inter car that would be like translation uh, They're always cool uh, to let me cars for reviews uh, again another look at the polo definitely masculine looking airline package uh, and i really like the new polo uh, leathers below the badge it just it's more minimalist more simple and clean and here's your recommended uh, fuel run minimum 95 uh, of course you have the smart holder here so it doesn't scratch this clear coat uh, of course petrol in this case uh, for the first time the diesel cars were outsold by electric cars uh, but the petrols are still popular uh, let's check the opening and closing sound so very solid and I don't see the car shaking too much for a small car that sometimes happens checking the seals so the seals are quite decent uh, I think, I think they've always improved them a little bit you have the seal on the bottom following the door frame and one actually seems like a double layer but uh, another seal on the inside now uh, over here you can push your key and uh, lock from the inside for the kit so they don't open hard plastics on the rear even this is hard plastic it is uh, obvious that uh, Volkswagen was doing some savings on certain parts and then uh, adding more in other parts decent bottle area speaker on the bottom and if we check the bottom so you have a plenty of a leg room these are the textile seats 
Uh, they do have this like suede material or Alcantara imitation. Feels like Alcantara, so you can see that. Uh, you get the black uh, roof liner. Let's get inside. I think I'm gonna leave the key on the front. Okay, so for a two meter tall person, uh, the seat is almost in the lowest position. I have plenty of feet room and I was sitting in the front. It is a little bit tight for my knees, uh, but I would survive like this. Uh, if an average person was sitting on the front, you would have definitely more knee room. Over here, we have two USB C's for fast charging. This is blank and we have a fairly tall transmission tunnel. Let's hear the closing sound. I gotta be honest, there is like a slight rattle sound on the rear, which I'm not a fan of. Seems like the body is resonating a bit. You don't hear it as much on the front seat, just on the back seat. Now you have a little uh, hook on the B pillar. A small detail on the top, they've removed in Polo and the Taigo. Separate video, also full review. Uh, the handles on the top for some reason. I don't know why they've saved money on that. And you have the adjustable uh, front seat belt. They've kind of removed that in certain cars and I don't know, maybe they're putting it back. Uh, LED lights on the top. You have actual physical buttons, which is um, nice. And just to take a little look, it is a bit dark, but you have uh, still nice tall windows. You have a window in the seat pillar and it's a a good overview on the rear. Uh, rear headspace for a two meter tall person, it's obviously a little bit short. Uh, if I was in an average or let's say 190, 180, five, I think I would be okay. My hair would be touching. If I was shorter, I would have plenty of space. So for an average person, it's quite decent. Let's get on the front. Where you're gonna spend most of your time if you buy this car, because let's be honest, this is a like a first entry car um, so let's see good closing and opening sound also the seals there's like little improvements I would say uh, although there is no seal on this end there is bottom one and they kind of remove the Z seal which they used to have in cars it is here on the top but hmm, I don't know and then uh, there is seal on the inside uh, while I'm over here, tire pressure information is below, so pause and read. Uh, if you have more luggage, you have to have a higher tire pressure in the rear for stability in case you're avoiding uh, something on the road on higher speeds. And front, pla uh, front uh, plastics are also hard. This flashes when the car is locked. Inside, a lock unlock button. Door handles feel nice. This is some sort of gray finish. And then you have the soft uh, textile on the uh, inside front doors. This is very robust. Uh, I believe you can lower the right mirror in reverse. And you have the folding and heating uh, as standard now. Uh, that's why this is plastic on the rear, probably. And uh, of course, automatic power windows. Uh, and you can lock the rear for the kit. Uh, spacious bottle area speaker on the bottom and you get a nice r-line aluminium doorstep on the front seats these are manual seats of course you can get electronic seats if you option that this is for up and down that's push it up to slide back and forward lumbar and your tilt uh, there is a little space here you can put a reflective vest bolsters are kind of decent taller uh, bigger on the top the seats are nice and warm especially in the winter season and you have the gorgeous R aluminium sport paddles of course the light switch is still classic keep it on automatic especially do not drive with your daytime running lights your instruments are on but uh, your headlights are not at night so put your uh, switch to automatic extend for fog lights and steering column is manual let's get inside now there's a little detail here these are ambient lights they're also on the doors here uh, but I'm not sure if they're gonna turn on 
I have a feeling that the 12 volt battery is depleted. But still, we're gonna show you a little bit. Now, the interior is, I like the um, previous model, very familiar, and we got the new steering wheel. So this is sort of the point of view. I hope I'll get a car soon for a point of view driving. So subscribe if you wanna see that and for more content. Now the dash on the top is soft. Um, this is soft, so I wish this would be soft at least on the front, but some people don't mind. Uh, leave in the comments what you think. Uh, you have a speaker in the A pillar. Air vents are known and so this is a gray finish on the outside and a black piano black on the interior not too much so it's just the right measure because if there was a little bit more i think i personally really dislike that have the dash extending and then this is soft as well look at this this is soft and then on the bottom of course continues the hard plastic uh slowly nice opening glove compartment still get these volkswagen books although the service is now all via the digital key. Uh, SD card over here. Uh, and you have a little uh, switch for the airbags, business card holder, coins. And uh, this is not a, a cheap plastic. It looks like imitation of leather, but it really wouldn't hurt if they added a little carpet inside uh, or inside here. Okay, uh, screen is still uh, nice. You have physical knobs. Uh, you can option one without those, but I really prefer to have some physical interaction with my car. Hazards button. Uh, you have the hazards in the driver side and AC vents on the bottom because screen is on the top closer to the road. Um, they spec in this salon manual AC so this is the AC button, closed air recirculation, uh, temperature, fan speed, and uh, where you want the uh, air blow, uh, and the rear defrost. On the bottom, we have two USB-C chargers uh, for media. Uh, this has a rubber mat. It's nice and spacious for a smartphone. Uh, this seems like a parking card holder. And start stop off parking sensors and you have the seven speed automatic dsg lever so it really looks uh, and feels nice in the hand i know i didn't show you the steering wheel i'm going to come back to it i uh, just kind of went the other direction this time uh for the regular audience manual handbrake uh i've mentioned this this is uh, designed in 2021 in 2022 this is going to be the history in history excuse me because if it's going to have um, at least in Europe you're going to have electronic parking brakes mandatory uh, I guess Volkswagen still offers unhealthy smoker package this should have been a 12 volt and well that's my personal opinion I'm against smoking but uh, I'm not going to judge if someone is smoking uh, so this is the ashtray uh, if you're not smoking, it could be like a little trash bean. Cup holders, a uh, little space on the rear as well, all rubber mat. And you have the extending armrest. It's nice. And, well, actually, it is barely soft. And uh, you have a fairly spacious um, glove compartment for maybe a smaller water bottle and some uh, stuff. Okay, uh, steering wheel that I kind of missed. Uh, it's the new design we saw for the past uh, year or two and uh, it's not completely round here it has like this corners but it feels nice now they've removed this like grippy area here it's a little bit different but it still feels okay in the hand they have the flat bottom you have the r-line badge it really looks elegant and um, you have physical buttons i can't remember from top of my head if the R-Line Polo uh, that I filmed in Zurich, Zurich had touch buttons, I personally prefer these physical buttons. And I wish Volkswagen, instead of these plus and minus for the volume, I'd actually get knobs because Skoda has them, Audi has them, like Set has them, Volkswagen. I just, if you're listening, put those little rollers for the volume, they feel a lot better. 
your cruise control settings are here your screen settings are here you have views in uh, voice commands sport paddles which you're never going to use are also included and uh standard wipers now uh, i'm going to use the key because uh, we have the physical cylinder again you can spec a start stop but for some reason i guess some people are more cl classic they like old technology okay there's going to be a lot of uh things disabled and it's just uh Rev limiters are limited to 2,000 and a half. Um, so this screen is not turning off on. Uh, I've reviewed it in the live package, check it out. Uh, but it's same as all the Volkswagen infotainments. <clears throat> uh, so it doesn't matter. Um, what is interesting is you get this new virtual cockpit in Polo. It's the base virtual cockpit. You can get the full screen, but uh, this is the entry. It looks okay, you have this uh, digital fuel temperature on the side and you have this TFT screen that looks pretty decent. Uh, it might look a little bit blurry on the camera, but it's actually a bit sharper in person. So not super sharp, but it's okay. Uh, you can change through these three uh, layouts. Uh, you can, well, play with stuff. I, I actually review this one and the other one, so check it out. For some reason, I didn't really understand why. Uh, I think it might be the battery or the car is still in the factory mode and they didn't uh, boot the uh, software for when it leaves the salon. So uh, that was uh, the little review. Uh, going on the top, you have the uh, little basal mirror. It's uh, looking okay. Uh, LED lights on the top. You have your emergency buttons, service and so on. And they have a little glasses compartment with nice rubber. So that's a nice touch. Uh, interior is black, it's soft. This is a little bit more stiffer. You have the LED light consisted with the interior lights. Only the rear light in the booth is, or the trunk is uh, warm. And you have the privacy mirror. I think it might be a little bit bigger than the previous generation, might be wrong, but definitely uh, looks okay and you have the document holder this unfortunately here is whole area not covering uh, this is not extendable unfortunately hopefully Volkswagen will uh, consider this in the future and uh, for the two meter tall person uh, loads of headspace definitely okay and you have an excellent overview uh, on the front through the mirrors and uh, all around because there's uh, lots of light coming in also i like that uh, detail um uh, with the ac i forgot to mention i personally prefer this because the new polo uh you can see that in my zurich video video uh that uh ac controls if they're automatic you have to use those pesky touch buttons the late layout is nice but i still prefer physical i think volkswagen made a huge mistake with that one but um they've uh for now they're not uh deciding to uh, put this back but i heard some talks that they might so uh let's pop the front bonnet uh we're gonna show you the bonnet we're gonna show you the led headlights and all that good stuff push it uh to the left above the badge so that's the mechanism and here's your a little uh, 1.0 petrol engine, it's turbocharged of course, and uh, you have to use the little a leg. Uh, even though this is a petrol, it has the sound insulation, so that's nice. And let's just let it close, closes perfectly. So uh, let's, let's show you the spec and we're gonna show you the uh, headlights <clears throat> and taillights. So 110 horsepower, as I mentioned, 1.0 TSI, seven speed automatic, uh, vibrant violet color, tight and black interior, and you have the option of the LED uh, matrix headlights, uh, 17 inch alloys, and uh, automatic uh, uh, lights and uh, rain sensor. I'm gonna write the uh, price in euros. And now let's show you the uh, lights because this doesn't have the 
keyless entry, you have to use it this way. I'm gonna first show you the position lights. Let me just show you the fog lights as well. So you can see here the uh, lights, gorgeous looking, but you can see that I didn't turn on the fog. Let me see now. Yeah, there we go. So you have one uh, LED fog light on the left. And to show you the turn signals, I'm gonna come back. So these are the headlights on. And again, I gotta say, I love the connected LED bar. Now I'm gonna show it to you with the hazards on. You can see, as I mentioned, the top one turns into a turn. It could have used the bottom, maybe. Tell me what do you think about that idea? Like switch these two. <clears throat> and now to show you the rear. So we get the dynamic turn signals on the rear. Uh, I assume this on the top is the reverse light. So it'd be cool if it was really connected from here, but oh, it still looks very good. And I have to show you only the position lights or the daytime running lights. So also looks very unique on the road. I really like this. So tell me in the comments, how do you like the new Polo? Now, if you're wondering why I didn't show you the fog lights, I think the engine needs to be on. So we're not gonna turn it on in the uh, closed space, but the LED, um, Fog lights are white, not warm lights. If you like the new Polo, there's gonna be a separate video of the new Tiger R-Line as well, so check it out and subscribe to the channel. So thank you everyone for watching. Be a cool person, smash the like button, leave a comment below. How do you like the new Polo in this beautiful violet color? It's definitely interesting, something to stand out. Uh, as always, stay safe at home, at the road. Uh, I'm gonna see you in the next one, bye.